Hey you, what's going on guys? My name is Brett Madigan from Bega Games and here is my preview of Attack on Titan on PC. So the developer of this game is Omega Force and the publisher is Koei Tecmo. The initial Japanese release was February 18, 2016. Okay, so the very first thing that you'll be greeted with is a lot of information about you getting DLC and stuff. <sighs> anyway, so I've played the game, I think, slightly up until the end of the tutorial or whatever. And <sighs> there's... Alright, I'm not going to try and be overly negative just because it's a, you know, an Attack on Titan game or anything like that. But I do want to mention a few things that could hopefully be fixed by the time this game is released. I don't know whether I can release any of this information prior to release. If I can't, well, this video will be released after release for that exact reason. But, the very first time you enter the game, it'll ask you to change the game's uh, compatibility mode to Windows 7. It does it automatically, but it's still a weird problem. I'm running Windows 10, right? <laughs> so, I... I I've been on PC for about six years now, I've never been asked that question, ever. Another thing that was really weird, that the game never even started in full screen mode. So, right out the gate, there's two issues that apparently went through QA. Hmm. Another problem that I see is the mouse cursor, if you're trying to use the mouse on the screen, doesn't actually lock to the window that the game is in. So, there's that. <laughs> uh, no mouse controls at all, which I can show you right now. And I'll get further into the controls as well, uh, at a, you know, once I actually start the game. But, yeah, this is how long it takes to actually get into the menu, which is ludicrous at best. But, anyway, under controls, it's got button mapping. Obviously, you can use a gamepad, which this game was obviously made for. <laughs> um, but... On the right there, you'll see the keyboard controls. Now, it's got forward, right, back, and left. I, I'm i not too sure whether that, that's supposed to be WASD, because for me, WASD was, I think, panning, rather than actually moving forward, right, backwards, and left, you know? And then the camera was, uh, I think it was the arrow keys? I don't know, I have, to sh I have to test it out in a second. But I believe it was something like that. Uh, but yeah, you can see, no mouse control whatsoever. And I did ask the PR company to, you know, let the developer know that that was a weird thing. And I never got, an, I never got anything back, so... Rightio then. I'm just going to quickly turn down this sound. Because it is a little bit too loud. Now you probably can't really hear it, but oh well. Under graphic settings, we've got full screen display on or off, resolution, movie playback on or off. I'm not too sure why they're an option under there, but whatever. Graphics quality, we've got light shafts, motion blur, depth of field, anti-aliasing, ambient occlusion, I believe that setting is. Effects quality, reflections, radial blur, texture filtering, shadows, and that's it. Now, I don't know why this game even bothers to have a high setting, because it basically looks similar, if not the same, as the console version anyway, maybe with a slight increase in, in uh, texture filtering and, and stuff here and there, but other than that, it basically looks identical, so I don't know why they even bothered, but whatever, at least they're there, right? Uh, what, what happened to the game? Okay, so under game, we can turn on the subtitles, gore, minimap, and all this sort of stuff as well, so that's cool, but you'll notice that there's no uh, language selection at all within the game itself. Now, language, as far as I'm aware, at the moment, there's only the choice of English and Chinese. At least that's the only options that I can choose. Yours may vary uh, whether you buy the game or not. Mm, oh, uh, before I actually get into the game, there's one more thing that I do want to mention, that exiting the game whilst from the main menu, so if I click exit game and then leave that way, it does cause the game to crash. So, yeah, there's that. <laughs> now, the cutscenes aren't voiceovered as well, which, for me, as a player, I don't really get into cutscenes when it's like, text, more text, read this, read that. 
because I, I'm not a gamer that likes to read a lot of dialogue. That's why I don't play, you know, a lot of these RPG games and actually care about the story. The only game that I cared about with story like that and that had a lot of dialogue was The Witcher 3, and that was recently. But this, I, I don't want to read a lot of it, man. Skip. <laughs> and then they, like, during the loading screens, it's like, here's more dialogue, just in case you missed the story. Can't you just have a voiceover that is in English, that has all this sort of stuff? Or that reads that to me, like a lot of other games, like Metro 2033 or Metro Last Light, before, you know, that protagonist was completely silent, but before the player actually entered the level, it would, you know, RTM would talk. <laughs> and this is now. And on top of that, it's not even dubbed. Now, I'm one of those people that don't like to watch anime unless it's dubbed. Now, I don't care what your opinion on that is, whether you think it's better to watch it subbed or whatever, I, I don't honestly care. I prefer to watch it in English and have the English voice actors for any anime that I'm watching, right? That's my opinion, That's I'll leave it, I'll, I'll leave it at that. Reason being is because when a game does that, when the game has the Japanese audio and wants the player to read every little piece of dialogue, I don't want to read it. I don't feel invested into the game as much as I would if I was actually listening to what they're talking about. As of right now, I don't know what's going on. I'm not listening because I don't want to read it. That's the only reason why I'm not paying attention right now. So I'm going to skip that. <laughs> so yeah, game not being dubbed is a little bit frustrating for me. But on top of that, there's a lot of dialogue uh, for uh, like... Uh, like this sort of stuff, like movement basics and stuff. They just tell the player they use the left analog stick to move around, A to jump, and X is to fire your anchor. I don't need all this other dialogue. I really don't. And there's three pages of that. <sighs> so yeah, reading everything is a little bit annoying. Uh, the gameplay feels a little bit weird. I, I feel like the, in this case, Eren is a little bit too close to the screen and, you know, covered in dialogue all the time. It's just... It's weird, it really is. Now, I'm not saying that as a PC player, you know, I just feel like he's a bit too close to the screen. And for whatever reason, the camera keeps panning. Let's see, okay, so, yeah. Yeah, it keeps panning for some reason. Not 100% sure why that is, but anyway. But yeah, so basically the main mechanic in this game so far is using the anchor and the boost, right? To, to maneuver around the level. Now, I would have thought that the developer would have given the player a little bit more control in the sense that, you know, if I move this way, it's going to go that way, which it does. But it, I feel like the, the mechanic itself is trying to pull the player towards the ground rather than try to keep them in the air. And I feel like that is the point of this mechanic, to keep them in the air, but yet the analog stick, the right analog, or the, the pan uh, in the game just keeps panning for no, for no apparent reason whatsoever. Like, if I move the character around that way, it'll pan the camera. I don't want to pan if I'm moving with the left analog stick. The only time I want to pan is with the right analog stick. I don't want it to move by itself. I don't like that in any game. I don't want it to happen in this game. I don't want it to happen in any game. So that is just a personal gripe. Now, obviously, I'm pointing out all of the issues. The only reason why I'm doing that is because I feel like the combat is just a little bit too... I, I don't want to say advanced, but it's a little bit too complex for what it really needs to be. Alright, so basically, how you go about doing this is switching into combat, which is RB, and then pressing X, and then moving, or not actually moving with the left analog stick, or you can if you really want to, if the Titan's, you know, facing your direction. You use the left analog stick, you can move out the way, and you hold A to boost, and on top of that, you can attack by pressing Y. So let's go ahead and do that now. So if I move out the way, let go, and hold Y, doesn't really do anything unless I'm charging. <laughs> so if I go ahead and do that again, press Y, there we go. It's just a lot of button presses, uh, or un unrequired button presses to do one small action, and that is attack, right? And that is just, it's just, it's really, I don't know how to explain it, it's just strange that that is the only way that they, the developer could have allowed this to happen. Now, an alternative to that would have been if the player's looking at that, at, at the at the Titan, then it would sort of try to auto-lock to the nearest Titan that they're pointing at. They would click, in this case, 
Uh, X, which I don't think I can't actually do anything, so that's helpful. Um, seriously? Oh, no, that's right. Got to be in combat mode first. Yep, so it's giving me Gryph because I'm not charging, which apparently does more damage, but it's not actually doing anything. Um, so, yeah, there's that. There we go. Alright, so I believe that's the end of this dummy demo. <laughs> Thanks, Keith. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say I'm the best at this game, because I know I'm terrible. I really do know that I'm absolutely terrible at this game. But the point is, the mechanics feel overly complex for what they really need to be, and it's unrequired. It's unrequired difficulty to do a simple action as attacking. Right? Uh, press B near these people. Yes, you get more stuff. Okay, so in the game, there's two, uh, as of right now, there's two consumables. There's the blades and the gas. Now, I can understand why the, the blades and the gas would run out, but if you look how fast the gas actually runs out, I think it's a little bit too quickly. I think that that's, it shouldn't deplete that, that fast. Because, like, imagine if there's a lot of titans or, or whatever around, and you're trying to, like, scoot around the map really fast and get on top of buildings and all that sort of stuff. It'll, I have a feeling that it's going to be, become, like, this very annoying mechanic. Because you'll be constantly trying to find these people to re resupply you. And, uh, I don't know, man. I just feel like it would be a bit weird. Now, you... I don't know if you've noticed this, but in the distance you'll see that the shadows on that building are playing up a little bit strange. And that's because the LOD, or the render distance in this game, is very narrow, and it's pretty much about, I want to say, 20 to 30 meters away from the, the player. And every now and then you will see... Oh, I have to change blades apparently as well. Uh, you will see... The trees and stuff actually appearing in the distance, and that, that, that sort of stuff is really annoying. Seriously? I did this already! Can I... Thank you! <laughs> I swear I did that! That was the first action that I did, and it's like, no, you gotta do it again. Yeah, 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 let's go. I don't want to waste anything, so... Okay, so there's a Titan just here. Ah. Okay. Not enough speed. Okay. So it does give you little indications as to what you're doing wrong, which is pretty cool. But on top of that, I don't know. It's just something about the combat that just feels a little off. See, look how look how fast my my gas is actually depleted already. Like, and I've taken out what two, three three Titan things already. Gas stuff depletes pretty quickly, man. And the map not rotating. Oh man. I still haven't been able to get that, like, double attack going on, though. Okay, got it. Sweet. Like, you know how in the show they do that, like, oh, we're going to take out the, the foot or whatever? 
like that, and then like swing around and do it again. Like I haven't been able to get that. Oh, still gotta take out its head apparently. Nope, that was terrible. Let's try that again, shall we? There we go. All right, so oh, there's still heaps left. Really, not enough speed. Thank you. Now I need to find like, uh, see what I mean? Like it depletes way too quickly. Not liking the direction on the map either. Because I'm used to maps spinning around so I can actually see where I'm going. That sort of stuff. It's the little things, man. Little things. Okay. So, which one's closer? Oh, well, this one will do. Thank you. See, like, every time I do that, it feels like I'm getting too close to the ground. Like, you can see that I'm I'm actually trying to stay up in the air, but it's still... The game's still pulling me towards the ground. See, like that. Oh dear. Thank you. Oops, wrong way. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> I got no gas left! Come on! Did I win? Ooh! Did I win? Come on! Come on! Yes! <laughs> Suck it! Woo! <laughs> okay, yeah, like, the mechanics... Ah, uh, like... It doesn't... It's not that it's bad, right? It's just, it feels like it's trying to pull me towards the ground that it is instead of actually pulling me towards, like, the air. Like, I don't know, it's just, it's really hard to explain. And hopefully you guys can see what I'm, what I'm trying to talk about here, where, like, I'm trying to, you know, go through the, the trees and whatever, but every time I swing, instead of actually sort of, getting pulled, it's sort of like swinging me towards the ground, then pulling me up. I don't know, it's just, it feels weird. But anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed my my preview for Attack on Titan on PC. Let me know what you think about it as of right now. My personal impressions so far is that, you know, a lot of these issues that I mentioned before should be fixed, man. Like, it's a PC version it shouldn't be required to run in Windows 7 compatibility mode. It should automatically start in full screen unless I set it not to. The mouse cursor should automatically stay on the screen. You know, stuff like that. It indicates a very strange port. But at least the performance is good. <laughs> I guess that's a plus. But if you play if you play with VSync disabled, uh, the game does try to break. If I, I set the VSync to... Uh, fast in the NVIDIA control panel and instead of actually being normal with VSync off 
it was basically running at 600 frames per second and screwed the physics up so hard that I couldn't actually play it. That was in the menu. Like, I couldn't actually start because the menu was just all bleh, all weird. But anyway, I'm going to end the video here. I'm rambling on at this point. But anyway, see you guys next time. Peace out.